Hi, this is Raven and this video will follow on from the previous videos editing basics and units and waypoints and we'll be focusing on objects so why do we put objects it's just simply to give the mission more ambience just to make it feel more realistic um, and where do you start well you need to have some idea like I mentioned in the first video mission editing basics so you have to have a plan but just for demo purposes I've stuck three guys all facing out in different directions just to represent like a, a small patrol and once you place your units down you can then start adding objects to make it feel more realistic so as they're a patrol what we need to do is ask ourselves what kind of patrol are they if they're a patrol that's just entered this area and gonna stay here for a couple of hours and then move on then they must got here with a vehicle so let's just add a vehicle down so I'll go to civilian and give them a off-road I'll just stick it there so it looks like they've come in and turn around dump the car there and go off to their positions and that's another little trick actually just show you if you drag a vehicle in it drags it in populated but if you hold alt down and drag it in it drags it in unpopulated just save you a bit of time also the vehicle itself if you double click on it has contents and typically vehicles will have a bunch of first aid kits um, I don't think that's realistic I personally think in real life it would probably have one so you can adjust that and maybe add a tool kit if you want the player to use it but I'll let you mess about with that so we've given them a vehicle so they're a, a patrol that's just there for a little while um, just to add a little bit extra we could maybe put down a water bottle just quickly see if there's water oh, there you go so I'll just put down a couple of empty water bottles near them and then we could put down a few water bottles near the back of the car so I'll just put a few of those down so that would be enough to make that patrol feel more realistic but say they're a permanent patrol so you know they've been dropped off here so they wouldn't have that they might still have a few water bottles near where they're standing but they're more likely to have a campsite so the best way to do it you can either type in camping in props and you'll get all the tents and sleeping bags to sort of set it out yourself but if you go to F2 um, there's a tab here called camps and it gives you a few different options with a few different camps like laid out so if we just pull in camp there you can see you've got quite a few bits that you can work with and each one sort of set out differently and I think we can actually work with this one so let's just move this sandbag bunker in front of him and this one in front of him I'm holding shift to rotate it don't need that um, we can use some of these just to fill these gaps now I'm doing this really quickly um, just so it doesn't make the video too long but it's very important that you spend a good deal of time getting it right okay so that's sort of 
set out quite well. Um, but in reality, I don't think they would have a campsite right bang in the middle. They'd more likely have the tents and sleeping bags out up against some of these sandbag walls for protection. But as you can see, all the sandbag walls are populated with other objects. So what we're going to do is we're just going to clear this area here. So if you go to systems and type in hide, it gives you this here, hide terrain objects. So drag that in. As you can see, it's got rid of the building. So I want to get rid of the bush as well. So you can change the size. So we've got five by five, let's try seven by seven. Now you see it's got rid of some of the wall. So you can actually tweak this so that it only gets rid of objects you want. So we want it to get rid of the building. We don't want it to get rid of any walls. We want it to get rid of vegetation and other is other objects. So that would be like the rubbish. So you can see it, it's kept everything. So that's about right. So now I'll get the tents. And you see if I, you hold down the left mouse button, you can drag a box over like you can in most applications. And we're going to grab the sleeping bags. Do. And I think the rest of the camp would be okay in the middle. Um, now obviously it's attention to detail so it just so happens that I've got three guys and I've got three sleeping bags there but if you had four guys make sure you put down a fourth sleeping bag or two guys only have two down. Um, and one last thing I'm going to show you is if we go to props I'm just going to put in a small camping table just there just to show you a, a, another thing so I'm going to get this little lantern here and if you hold alt down it changes the height of the object and if you see there it goes to like a cross when it snaps so it snaps the table now in the standard maps that might be okay there but in the mod maps where the terrain is a bit glitchy this may sometimes be like this and just sort of randomly all over the place or maybe even on the ground so if you want that to remain exactly where it is then if you double click on it uh, object special state and untick simulation and you'll get a little red dot and then that will always stay there it won't glitch okay hope that was helpful um, the next video I'm going to try and look at sort of finishing a mission off uh, but if there's anything that you want to know again let me know in the comments all right good luck guys